Hello, welcome back to Creative Matthew. I'm trying something, I'm going to do another little ink thing, but this time an ink wash with, for of a tool. Primarily just ink. But I'm like, I'm going to try something. I've done the ink wash before, but this time I'm doing it a little bit stronger. I think I'm doing it stronger. Hard to tell. I mixed just a little bit of water, less than I've done in the past. But it still seems pretty strong. I guess it doesn't take much water to bring down the ink. But this is probably like a, if you ever use um, Copic markers, the black to grays and all that stuff. This is probably like a six. It's still pretty dark, but it, it doesn't take much to bring it down. Today is Halloween. What was your favorite costume growing up? And if you like to dress as an adult, what's your favorite costume now? I don't know what I would say is my favorite growing up. And I just realized I need a cup for some water. Let's see. ink off the brushes. I use these things for watercolor and other things. I don't want to make it too much. Get all my little pins out. Pens. The wolf knows. Also, a lot like a dog's nose. I wonder why. That was sarcastic. Do a little bit of wash on that thing. And I think I got mostly ink.
use another brush to kind of soak some of that up. It's gonna be dark, so this should be good. Has some white fur, but it's, I mean, it doesn't look, it looks more like a, I don't know, 30%. When I say 30%, I'm talking about like value. Based on how you're doing the scale, you might say complete total black, pitch black is a 10, and pure white is a zero. In that case, if pure white's a zero and pitch, like pitch black is a 10, this would be the white on the wolf is probably around a 30% or 3 on that scale. It's so I'm not sure if I want to keep that paper. There's not really any really bright whites on it. So we'll see. Got any emojis? different than doing a lion or a cougar or, or a big cat mainly because a wolf a dog those type of things there's a, obviously there's differences between their skull differences between their structure but it's also mainly just like the top of the head and this and the muzzle on a cat the muzzle is actually at an angle pointing downwards so even if the cat's looking straight at you, its nose is gonna be a little bit further down because its muzzle is actually at a slight angle towards going downwards. Wherein a wolf, dog, those sorts of things, their muzzle is pretty much going straight out. There's not much of an angle at all. And so if they're looking at you, if you have a cat, if you have your house cat and a dog both looking at you and their heads are at the same angle, the cat's nose is still gonna be a little bit lower just because of how it's at a slight angle towards Going downwards. We're in the wolf, the dog, those things, not quite. No, I never did mention what my favorite Halloween costume was at growing up. I'm trying to think. My favorite Halloween costume growing up. I have to remember them all. Actually, since I'm doing this in black and white, let's actually make this reference image black and white just to make it a little easier. But anyway, I'm gonna have been like, don't say like so much. I've been. Batman and I'm doing my hand in quotes because technically it was just a bat costume Which I, I like the idea of the bat costume because I like the idea of being able to fly Batman can't actually fly he can use machines like we can in anything else. He's just a human being regular neural person But a bat can actually fly and stuff and I thought That was a kind of a fun costume where I could pretend to be a bat I think I even wore it outside of Halloween just pretending to be a bat flying that was fun. I mean, I've been like, said like again. Every time I say like, you have to go do a good deed for to help somebody. I've been not quite a dragon. I don't know what it was. It was like a dinosaur like type costume. I'm 
I can't remember all of them. One of them I remember was a Power Ranger. But that was when I was a little kid. And that's, I mean, I'm pretty much, pretty much 40, not quite there yet, but not far off. And that shows you how old Power Rangers concepts have been. And I always like to say it should have died when I was a kid making the show and stuff. As a kid show, not bad, but it was a little cheesy. Now I guess some people really still like it, some kids still like it, or I know somebody who has Fragile X, and I think, if I remember correctly, I think he still likes it. I can't remember for sure. I'm really just using this ink wash to give a little bit darker tone to the paper. Kind of like what I do with the Copic marker. Well, I don't use Copic. I use these Azure, which work just fine. I can. There's not really any difference between them and Copic. They're alcohol-based markers. You may say, "Well, they have more. Well, their the markers don't really have cinnamon pigment. They may not last quite as long as Copic. Maybe, maybe not. But the thing is, they're so much cheaper. I could buy three of them, and still, and that could not last the Copic easily. So you got to look at what you get out of the price." And is this really worth the extra money? Because companies will charge whatever people are willing to pay. There's some that are like, you know what, this isn't worth that much, even though other companies are selling for that much, we're not going to sell for that much. Those ones are harder to find that are more honest. Like truly, like some of, I don't think a lot of companies try to be truly dishonest, but they're probably charging more than they really should, and I think they know that. But they're like, hey, people pay it. We'll, we'll sell for that. <laughs> and you can actually see me. I put a little water there to help thin out even more. This is just some piece of wood that came with a little arts kit that I've been using for this. I don't want too much of it right there. So let's move this around. Try to flatten that up. Still don't know what my favorite Halloween costume is growing up. As an adult, I don't really dress up mainly, I'm just too cheap. I have a, my, we used to have a cherry tree in the backyard and it was a little too exuberant. It was trying to make way too many peaches for how small it was. And so its branches kept breaking and stuff. Some of the branches that broke looked really good for a staff. So I made it into a staff. Use that in my little stuff. It would make it go well with a Lord of the Rings wizard costume. You notice the white kind of dissolves with water. The other black pens I have, this is just a sharpie. This is, oh, 
made in Japan. I forgot the brand name, but that one and the bemojis, they don't really dissolve with the water. And, and once they're dry, they're pretty good at just keeping put. The white tend to dissolve, but then you just put more on afterwards. That's what I usually do. Because a little bit stays there behind. You get a little bit there. This process is kind of like watercolor in the sense that you start with the light and you slowly work your way to the darker color. Or in this case, just darker value. You're not really using different colors, you're just keeping it black and white. And as don't like that line. Uh, if I was to choose a costume as an adult, what would I want? What do, do I think my favorite thing would be? I think I'm a little bit of a Star Wars nerd. I guess maybe. I know. Kyle Katarn. Who in the world is that? I'm not, I'm not even going to give the details. I'm just going to say Kyle Katarn. You can look it up. Yeah, but dry right first. Should have actually made this thing lighter, but oh well. This actually should be darker, and this should be lighter. What would be your favorite Halloween movie? I'm not much of a horror person. Don't like it. Never have, never really will. 
I do like the idea of the monsters and like the design of them. Which is also why I do concept art and stuff like that, because that part can be kind of cool. But the whole, hey, the whole movie is about people dying. Not my thing in any way, shape, or form. Even if they don't really focus on that and they just indicate it, it's still enough that that's pretty much the focus is something is destroying people. There's enough death in the world. I don't need to watch it on TV. So something that's not really so like Halloween movies for me are the ones that that I'd watch are ones that aren't horror type of concept. Things that are as fun. I mean like, oh what is it called? Disney one. I don't remember what it's called. Um, I don't remember. But you have. The witches that come back after he lights the candle and stuff. You have the cat. You know. It's not really horror. It's just fun. I like things like that. You could almost call Ben Nobs and Broomsticks a Halloween movie. It has a witch. But it's not that type of movie. quite as white as you'd get on like the big cats but Being super careful and just relaxing. If I was trying to get design for a company, then yeah, I'm a little bit more focused on making sure things are where I want them to be and that sort of thing. But then again, that's still a lot of trial and error with that. Because it's trying to find a design that that's, fits whatever they're th whether they're trying to do, whether it be Whether you're doing concept for a movie, for a game.
rinse off my brush and before that gets too dry, blend it. Just so like building up layer to layer. I can always make something darker, <clears throat> and with and you can make it look lighter with a white pen. But yeah, I mean you could use other things if you wanted to mix, do a mixed media thing. But really, just take your time. Don't try to rush it. you do trunk or treat and how many you still go door to door and I thought treating was always fun as a kid. That's actually making it pretty bright, actually.
For a little bit more control, I'm going to use one of my markers, number two, for the inside the eyes. Show you if I can darken the outside. I'm not going too much. Excuse me, one of my, that's a bigger. Oh yeah, the paper I'm using, this is a mixed media paper. So it's not watercolor paper. But it can have water go on it like I've been doing, but I just noticed when I was doing the eyes, it is getting a little, not quite thin, but oversaturated in certain parts. look than I've done other thing, but whenever you do an ink wash it I get this then I'll look for it. Gonna be working this too much longer. I think this will about to call this thing finished. Some more back of the white to here again. And actually, this has a little bit of white going into that part. Just 
Moji, you go up here. This bit gets is more dark here. Just giving you a little bit of texture, too smooth. Bring this up. This side is the one that got a little too wet. Let's just add. Uh, Wolves have your skirt that. They have the little, no, I don't think so. Like big cats and cats in general have that little darker spots where the whiskers seem to come out. I don't know if wolves actually have that. Let's just use, use, use like this. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. This is Creator Matthew signing off. Have a good day, good evening, good night, night, whatever time of day, and have a good Halloween, safe Halloween, and that's all, folks.